I'm Logan Duvall, and this is Good Roots. Long identified as Pickle Capital, Atkins, Arkansas has always been a crossroads of sorts. A city that grew up along a railroad, served as a hub for river traffic, and currently sits right off Interstate 40. And just on the outskirts of town, in the shadow of Petty Jean Mountain, a 10 generation family farm is paving a new way of farming. I'm standing in a soon to be planted rice field at Ralston Family Farms. You may be wondering, rice field in the spring? What is there to see? Well, I'm not here today to harvest rice, but rather talk about farming practices, specifically regenerative farming. Whether it's labeled as regenerative, sustainable, or organic, they describe farming and grazing practices that reverse climate change by rebuilding organic matter in the soil and restoring degraded soil biodiversity, resulting in both carbon drawdown and improving the water cycle. And this rich soil is just one of the many beneficial results. I'm Tim Ralston. My wife Robin and I own and operate Ralston Family Farms. We're located in the Arkansas River Valley here near Atkins. We farm about 5,800 acres. A little over half of that's dedicated to rice production. We also grow uh, soybeans and corn. And we've got a cow herd of about 120 mama cows. We practice regenerative agriculture, and this is important because it helps us to give back to the land and make sure that it's gonna be there for future generations. We have two little girls and we're getting to raise them on the farm and I'm super excited about that and just the, the opportunities that they have to you know, interact with farm life and uh, riding in tractors all the time. And it's just gonna be a great learning opportunity for them. <laughs> Sustainable practices the Ralstons are using help prevent erosion and water pollution. These practices include no-till planting with equipment outfitted with tracks instead of tires to minimize rutting, using renewable surface water irrigation and precision level fields. We utilize 100% surface water and all of that water comes out of the Arkansas River. By using surface water we're not depleting the aquifer and it allows us to take advantage of the opportunity to use that surface water. It's also a key component of the surface water is it's warmer. And so when we apply that to the crops, the crops don't have any kind of setback or anything from the, the cold water. The interesting thing about this project is when you use zero grade farming, then you do not have the water runoff, which, and when you have water runoff, that erodes the soil and the nutrients, and also the nutrients that are used to grow the plants are used completely in the soil instead of eroding into the streams. So this is the epitome of conserving our resources when you use zero grade farming. Zero grade fields are designed to give the farmer more efficient control of the water levels required for rice to develop. The zero slope allows water to travel faster and the flood to be more uniform across the field, virtually eliminating the need to build levees and till saving money and burning less fossil fuel to pump water. This is the main plume coming from the Arkansas River. And right now this pump takes care of 250 acres that lays right, right down in this area. And we typically farm that in rice. And across the road here, we've got another 125 acres that is currently using three pumps, one electric and two diesels. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna eliminate those three pumps and tie it into this system. Uh, this pump was put in with the uh, help of the NRCS five or six years ago, and it's capable of pumping 5,000 gallons per minute. When we pump that water into the rice field, we just hold it like kind of putting water in a bathtub, and the crop utilizes it to its full extent, and whatever water we do return at the end of the crop, it goes back to the river crystal clear. To me, I think it all starts with being profitable and being profitable over the long term. Mike Sullivan is with the USDA National Resource Conservation Services. For more than 80 years, the NRCS has worked in close partnership with farmers, ranchers, and government agencies to maintain healthy and productive working landscapes. For farmers, if they can do things with their cropping systems to build soil organic matter, making sure that you're not losing soil, 
but you're building the soil, helping it to be productive so that you can continue to grow crops years into the future. Where can somebody learn to apply it or get more resources? We have local conservation districts where we have staff in most every county, and it really starts with a conversation. And the best thing to do is work with your local conservationist and ask for a conservation plan on how you can continue to be profitable, but at the same time address all of your natural resource concerns. If you can minimize the amount of fuel you use putting a crop in, if you can minimize the trips across that field, you know, that's good business, but it just so happens that it's good for the environment as well. You learn through the years when you're farming that uh, if you take care of the soil, the soil will take care of you. In Atkins, Arkansas, I'm Logan Duval, and this is Good Roots.